I'm here at the Humber River Hospital in Toronto to find out how frontline medical workers are coping with COVID-19. And that's going to evolve, I think, every day. As to Janelle Van Haltren is an emergency nurse. We know we are the frontline staff and we have to be, you know, on our toes to accept whatever comes our way. So just trying to stay prepared. What's the biggest challenge right now? I think the challenge is not knowing what to expect with flow of patients and how many are going to come in and how to prepare our department for the possibility of more sick people. A lot of people are scared. Uh, many of them come in not sure. They don't really know why they're here. They just know there's a virus and they want to get checked out. Here at this hospital, there's been at least one positive case of COVID-19. And like anyone, that kind of news has Janelle concerned about her own family. My mom has cancer, so she does have, you know, she's immunocompromised, so that's always a risk for me to come home to bring it to her. I mean, she's a nurse as well, and my sisters are all nurses, so we're very used to um, these, these things, and uh, she worked through the SARS pandemic as well, so it's something our families, you know, have a little bit more uh, history with, but I am at risk to get it, right, from working, so. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to tell you. Because the person in charge of Janelle's safety is Natalie Farsate. Thank you so much. She's the Senior Director of Health and Safety and Infection Control. Because some of the nurses are scared, right? So, And it's okay to be worried. What do you worry about, about your staff? I am worried about my staff taking the strain that our community puts over on their shoulders without pitching it. What Natalie is talking about are the Canadians who have ignored the social distancing recommendations. When you see people out as a healthcare professional, what do you think? Uh, it makes me very angry because while we're doing the right thing within the walls of the hospital, we cannot control what happens outside. Pandemics are community events and we need every single person in the community to pitch in. People who carry the virus and may have mild symptoms have a weapon that can wipe out potentially entire generation of people over 65 who are significantly affected by the virus. So people carry a weapon. People are the weapon. Makes you wonder how much stress Janelle is actually under. Did you ever consider throwing up your hands and saying, I'll come back when the pandemic's over? You maybe never expected that you would go through a pandemic as a nurse, even though you know that possibility is always there and you're putting yourself at risk. But that's why I picked nursing. I, I joined nursing to help. Uh, it's a helping profession. I want to be there and people are at their, their finest moments, maybe having a baby, but also at their worst moments when they're facing death or a disease such as this. And um, same with the rest of my team in emergency, you know, we love helping people and we're there for you and we're able to keep a calm face during something like this. And that's just what we love to do. As the pandemic worsens, we're lucky to have people like Janelle on the front lines. Nick Purden, CBC News, Toronto.